Hey y'all. Um, I'm fidgeting. So just so you know, I'm fidgeting. And my face, my face skins are not happy with me. So I'm not wearing any makeup. And you know about the scars. So they are there. They're just part of me now. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to talk to you guys today about something for us older ladies and you younger ladies who have it to look forward to. Because nobody really talked to me about this. Um, my mama didn't. I mean, I didn't know anything about menopause when I was younger. I knew that my cycles were hell. But, um, you know, I just... I didn't know anything about what would happen when I got older. I just knew one day you stop having the monthly things, you know, your lady times. So anyway, I am perimenopausal, which means I have not stopped my lady times, but I am headed in that direction. At the same time, y'all, if, if you've been following me at all, or if you know me at all, you know I've been struggling with a lot of um, depression, light things. Um, I didn't want to get out of bed. And, uh, uh, of course, I've ha I have the knee problem, as you know. I just, I've just really been struggling with my emotions. I cry all the time. Um... I thought maybe I needed a new uh, depression medication. I'm on Celexa. I'm on 40 milligrams every day. And I have been on 40 milligrams every day of Celexa for about 15 years. So I'm thinking, I was thinking that maybe that needs to be changed. And we haven't ruled that out. I recently found my... Um, nurse practitioner that I see, she recently started practicing again, um, and I found her, and I'm so excited. Um, we went to see her, and uh, of course, I said, I understand that that a lot of my, a lot of it is my weight, my weight exacerbates my issues, and she put up a hand, and she said, stop, let's take baby steps, look, let's start with dealing with the pain in your knee. Because if you're having pain, you don't want to move. Which, duh, yeah. Um, and she says, and then, you know, when we get that straightened out, we figure out the depression. Then she said, we can move on from there. She says, if, if we take care of your pain and your depression improves and you're less depressed, she said, then you're fine. <laughs> um and that made me want to cry because um, usually when you go to a health care provider and you are the size that I am, it is all about the weight. Nothing else matters. It's just all about the weight. And I get that. I just don't like it because I am a whole person and it's not always just the weight. Like I said, the weight exacerbates some of my health issues, but it is not the only issue. Um, and it does not solve all my problems. If I were to lose weight, that wouldn't solve all my problems. It would help. It would help. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, moving right along. Um, she also suggested that I told her my symptoms and she said, you know, part of it could be menopause and all this, this stuff right here is part of it. Um, you know, ladies, if you haven't heard, then... You know, menopause is different for everybody. I'm perimenopausal, like I said, and I'm going through the whole sweaty thing, hot night sweats, the uh, feeling hot on the inside. It is the weirdest feeling. It feels like you have a furnace in the core of your being, and it's just radiating, and you cannot get cool. That doesn't happen very often. But when it does, it, I hate it. Oh my God, it's awful. And it makes me feel a little queasy too. So, Also, um, I, the sleeping all the time, the tired all the time, I'm thinking that's because of the depression. 
because I'm feeling bad, uh, not depression, I'm sorry, the, um, because of the menopause rather than the depression, because I've been taking black cohosh. She told me to take it. I am taking, or she told me I should try it. I am taking it. It's 40 milligrams. Um, I take one in the morning and one at night, and I do feel less tired, and I don't know if that's why or not. I do know I, I feel less tired since I started taking it, so I'm attributing it to that, uh, tri attributing my more energy to that. Oh, sorry. Um, hang on. Ah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um. So, you know, I thinking I'm thinking that that I'm feeling better now because of the supplement, also because I just have a better frame of mind about my health. My A1C, if you know anything about blood sugar, my A1C was 5.8, which is good. My cholesterol is fine, it's perfect. Uh, my triglycerides are a little high, so I have to get that fish oil stuff, so I'm really worried. If you guys know anything about fish oil or or a supplement like that that doesn't cause fishy burps, because I don't want fishy burps, and I heard you get fishy burps if you take fish oil. So let me know in the comment section. <laughs> so, um, like I said, menopause is different for everybody. It happens different times for everybody. Um, I will be glad when my lady days are over and I don't have to suffer through them anymore. Right now, you know, I never know from one month to the next what's going to happen. That's horrible. Because, um, you know, some months I have, and I'm sorry for the TMI, but some months I have just spotting, and but I still have the cramps and the, and the sore boobies and the, the cravings and all that. Um, and some months I don't have too much of that. And then I have, um, a horrible, 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 horrible lady days. Horrible. Um, so, you know, I, I never know and I never know when it's going to start, even though I follow this, I've, I've got this app. You might want to look at it. It's called flow FLO, and it helps me track things that's going on with my health. So um, it is. It's got more than just just uh, period stuff. It's got other things. So like your sleep schedule and and your medication schedule and you know that sort of thing. So look that up if you're interested. That that helps. It does keep track of things. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. I'm going to be making a few videos because there's a few things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um. My grandmother recently died on the 13th, and I want to talk to you guys about how that affected me and my uh, and my thoughts on that. Um, I also wanted to know if you guys were interested in unboxings. I know I keep bringing this up because um, you know June and <laughs> I got this from June for a dollar. But it's a fidget. It's a fidget. It's a slow rising fidget thing. Anyway, um, so if you're interested in uh, me doing unboxings or or Doom hauls, that's fine. I just don't see any point in doing like Ricky's crushes or or Boxy Charm because we all get the same thing. So or pretty much the same thing. So there's no point in that. But I was thinking, you know, if you want me to do the Ipsy hauls, Ipsy unboxings and um, the Zoom hauls and things like that. I, I don't mind doing that at all. I still do want to talk to you guys about uh, my inspiration, what inspires me to write. I talk to you about what I write and, and um, what's happening now as far as writing goes. And then uh, um, I also want to talk to you guys about I forgot <laughs> things so anyway um thank you so much for watching don't forget to share like 
comment, subscribe, comment, and 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 uh, like are my favorites. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you got something out of it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> Bye.